So, in previous videos, you've probably heard me say something like this a lot. And then uh, I have another tame that I'm planning on getting, another fish to the roster. Uh, one of the fish that I've always kind of wanted. Hopefully, uh, whenever we get new fish. Well, today's the day. So yeah, we went ahead and got a needle nose gar. Uh, these fish get to about 12 inches. Uh, they're fairly aggressive towards their own kind, but towards other fish, they're kind of uh, not the most aggressive and they're not really the fish that would pick a fight with uh, other fish and basically leave other fish alone that won't fit in their mouths. These fish are piscivore fish, but I will most likely have a lot of success training them to eat dead foods. They're not as difficult as my Pyara was, but um, since they're always at the top, I can already assume that this fish will be a, a pellet eater. Or I can easily pellet train this fish to take dry foods pretty, pretty easily. Uh, he's pretty skinny right now. Uh, just picked him up yesterday. But in no time, it will definitely build up some size. Hopefully it stays needle-like and slender, which gives it kind of that aggressive and streamlined look that a lot of people like these fish for. Um, it does resemble a gar. It looks like a gar, but it's definitely not a gar. Uh, a lot of LFS and uh, online retailers do call it a needle nose gar, but I think it's actually just called a needle fish. Uh, I'm not too sure. It looks like a gar, so everyone calls it a gar. Besides the needle fish, we went ahead and picked up some shrimp for the sump. One of my recent videos, I did a a little customization add-on to my sump which divided the left side off to promote anaerobic bacteria. The plan is to have some glass jars and ceramic rings to promote anaerobic bacteria while the right side is a straight moving bed and will promote aerobic bacteria. So on the left side um, there's not too much flow so there's a lot of detritus building up. It was looking fairly nasty. I didn't want to make it a routine to go in every week and clean it. So I went ahead and picked up some ghost shrimp along with one bamboo shrimp. For this section of the sump, these shrimps will live in this area and hopefully clean up my tank fairly well. They've cleaned all the surface area of my filter media and everything looks pretty much spotless. Uh, I do feed them every once in a while by dropping a little bit of dry food into that section, hoping that it'll just go straight down to the bottom, but they already have enough detritus to eat and uh, they're doing just fine actually cleaning up my sump. So I went ahead and picked up a cleanup crew for my sump I also picked up a new tank mate for my Pyara. This is the only fish that we're going to add for now until this fish has been trained onto dead foods. But if the local fish store does have that African predator fish that I'm after, I'm definitely picking it up, no questions asked. But yeah, stay tuned for the next video. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and peace guys.